Just like many others guys, I've been experiencing a ton of FPS drops and a super low FPS average on this build with a Ryzen 7 and a 4060. And of course I couldn't accept this, like this PC is good enough to at least handle 240Hz, right? And as the performance really isn't the best in chapter 5 guys, it was pretty hard but I found a solution. Even pros like Cooper or Mongrel are struggling on brand new top tier PCs to hit 240Hz, but I managed to figure out 3 steps which actually helped me in order to get super close to 240Hz average or even hitting 240 while playing ranked. And I'm about to show you exactly step by step how to do this guys. First of all we're gonna enable XMP profile. Second we're gonna disabling SMT or hyper threading depending if you're on AMD or Intel since forcing your CPU to only use physical cores can actually give you a huge FPS improvement depending on your PC specs. On my AMD PC it actually helped out guys but on the other hand on my Intel PC it did the opposite. So therefore always take this with a grain of salt guys. There are thousands of possible PC combinations so you always have to try it out for yourself to figure out which step actually helps the most. And finally also how to enable the MSI mode on your GPU. Everything which I'm about to show you in this video is super safe and I'm gonna explain it step by step how to apply all of these so that you can revert it in case if it doesn't help. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe guys since we're on a road to 150k and also let me know if you like the improved video quality. I've been putting a lot of time and effort to improve the overall quality of these guides and I would highly appreciate some feedback down below. And in the first place guys I want to talk about something very important because I see way too many people who maybe paid for like 3600 megahertz RAM and their RAM is only set to 2133 or actually the lowest which is available on DDI4 or basically on the RAM which you bought. And I had the same issue when I actually built here my budget PC with a Ryzen 7 and a 4060 that the RAM which I put in there was automatically set from Windows to only 2133 MHz which really resulted in a lot of stutter and gave me a way lower average of FPS when I was actually playing Battle Royale. And also in creative, after tuning up my RAM again to 3000 MHz which was the maximum this one can do, I know it's not perfect for Ryzen 7 but it was the RAM which I had laying around. But I immediately spiked up to almost 900 FPS in creative guys. So therefore I'm going to teach you exactly how to do this and basically what you get to do is in the first place open up your task manager and just check real quick under performance on how much megahertz RAM your RAM actually is. Once you click like in the task manager onto your RAM it's going to give you all of these small stats and there you can check it. And now this is where it gets a little bit complicated. You have to enter your BIOS and for that one you have to restart your PC and it's going to tell you for a few seconds what you have to press in order to get into it. It's always one of your F keys guys so either it's F2 or F8 or F9, just simply spam those or pay attention when you restart your PC. If you don't get it, you gotta restart it again, of course. And now, like the most difficult part about it is not every BIOS is the same, guys, because we have Asus, we have MSI, and all of these different brands, which of course all have a different layout. For most of them, there's something like advanced setting which you can press, and then you can see OC for overclocking. And under overclocking, there should always be XMP. You should find then a few profiles which are gonna tell you exactly on how much megahertz they are set, and then you can see here on my mother board it was actually profile 1 and 2 which both are set to 3000 megahertz so I could select either of those and then once I selected that and actually saved it my RAM for the next time was set to 3000 megahertz and I got way better FPS guys. So therefore it requires a little bit of research like what you can also do is just simply check if you have like a MSI motherboard and then go maybe on Google or YouTube and just simply type in the MSI motherboard XMP enable and it's probably gonna look similar to the software which you have even if it's like from a bunch of years ago it should still be pretty up to date and then you can figure out where you have to press in order to find it. All you really need to find is XMP and that's it. There are actually a bunch of settings which you have to apply for your CPU guys in order to work the best in Fortnite possible. And this is exactly where we're going to utilize Process Lasso. And trust me there are some settings which you probably don't even know about and I'm gonna explain all of them as well as some secret tips to make your CPU perform even better in Fortnite. In the first place of course you can get it from my official website guys or the discord.gg slash lost stripes. And in the first place guys I want you to click under main and go under active power profile and make sure that the bits and highest performance one is actually loaded. For most of you guys the bits and highest performance one is going to be the best option only on maybe like a low end laptop. You kind of should maybe try out a different one but as mentioned for most of you really select the bits and one. There are only a few instances where the bits and highest performance one is actually not the best one if your PC is maybe overheating or you're on a lower end laptop. Once we're done with that we're gonna click on the options go under general and in the first place now guys we want to see now refresh interval GUI. This one you're going to put to five seconds and then straight up under it you have refresh interval governor and this one you're going to put to five seconds as well. The next up guys under options we're going to select power and in here now we have performance mode where we're going to make sure that change power profile when engaged is enabled, enable automatic detection and steam and also disable idle server while performance mode is engaged. All of these here should be enabled. And once we're now done with that you actually have to run Fortnite in the background and also a realistic scenario where you have all the applications running in the background which you use on a day-to-day -day base. So Discord, maybe Spotify and all of them. So guys I now have actually Fortnite running in the background so therefore I'm going to press F until I can find it 
and it should be exactly here. And now guys, once Fortnite is actually running in the background, we should be able to find it in here in this list. The Fortnite client Windows 64 shipping access. We're going to right click onto it, go under CPU parity, then we're gonna go under always and make sure it's set to high. For most of you guys, high is gonna be the best possible option. Again, if you're maybe on a lower end laptop or you experience a lot of stutter with this one here enabled, go again to normal. You have to try it out for yourself guys, put it to high, hop in game real quick and check if you feel a difference. The next step guys, we can also find here INO priority, then go again under always and make sure to put it to high as well. Then once we go a little bit more down guys, we can find you now in use performance mode and we're going to click onto it and click under yes. And now guys, the most important part here under affinity is actually to go under always and then we can see disable hyper threading. And what this basically does if you disable hyper threading or SMT is that you disable all of the virtual cores of your CPU, basically forcing your system to use all of the logical ones. So I'm gonna do this right now and then you can see guys that only all of my logical cores are utilized for Fortnite right now. All of the virtual ones of my i9 are completely shut off. And this can give so many people such a huge FPS increase. But again, you have to try it out for yourself guys. For me personally, it actually worked better on my Ryzen 7 build. By the way, if you feel like none of these here actually helped you out guys, you can again go under none and it's going to revert all of these steps here. Did you ever wonder how all of your favorite Fortnite players get super low ping in game? Well guys, this is the GR Booster, which you can try it for absolutely free with the link in the description guys. Even Mero the FNCS one is using it. And it helped me to get only seven milliseconds of latency in Fortnite, which is already improvement of 60% guys. And with the brand new adaptive intelligent routing guys, the GR Booster is basically in the background always going to search for the best DNS server while you're gaming, ensuring that you have the least amount of ping. You can try it out for absolutely free with the link in the description. GR Booster even gave me a bunch of codes to give away guys, so therefore just send me a DM over on Discord that you have this tool installed and I'm giving it away to random people. And finally guys, we're gonna need MSI Utility version 3. You can find it as well on my official website or on the discord.gg slash drives and then you're gonna right click onto it and run it as administrator. Once the tool is open up, you can see exactly all of the specs of your PC and what we care about guys is our GPU. So what I'm gonna do is search up for my current GPU and then on the right side you should see line based and MSI. And for literally any GPU from the last decade, it should say MSI in here. And that one is super important guys. It's not the brand, it's actually a communication way between your GPU and your CPU. So therefore under MSI, you always are gonna make sure that this one here is checked. And then under interrupt parity, actually a lot of people say that you should put it on high, but actually putting it on normal works a lot better for most GPUs guys. There are a few specific ones where high actually works better. So therefore you're gonna make sure that you select normal in here and then you're gonna click under apply and you're already good to go and you can close this tool and it doesn't have to be even running on your PC. This is a one time tweak. And after playing all of these steps guys, you should immediately notice that your performance is so much better in Fortnite. As mentioned, some of these steps might help you more or less. It really also comes down to what your PC configuration actually is as of right now. But if you need any more support, always feel free to comment down below. Actually also comment your PC specs so that I can see which kind of PCs my community actually has. And if you need some more additional support, always feel free to join the Discord as mentioned. It's as well in the description below. And with that said, also don't forget to check out the two videos which are right now on screen.